with you. What's your name? I fuck with God because he fuck with me. Hey, what's I'm your name, Mr. bro? I'm Mr. I'm Mr. Fuck the police. Okay, Mr. Hello, FGP. What, what is God formed us from the womb to be the service of the Most High God? That's our job title. That's our occupation on this earth. And we're going to stand up, thus said the Lord God. I said, take it back to Genesis. Talk. 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 Genesis is what? Genesis is a book with, with 50 chapters in it. What, what do you want out of Genesis? What do you want out of Genesis? So you want us to read the whole book of Genesis? So you want us to read the whole book of Genesis? So you want us to read the whole book of Genesis? I didn't say read the whole book of Genesis. The Israelites don't know their nationality. We didn't come out here to teach the white man. God got Negroes starving because y'all rebellious as hell. Y'all don't want to keep no damn commandments. That's why you going with them. Come on. All right, you come up here to speak. Okay, okay, bro. Back up, back up, bro. Back up, back up, back up. That's all I'm telling you. Don't come and grab no mic because this is our platform. You want to speak, you can speak anywhere around this corner. Now, watch this. You good. You want to know what we're doing for community? Read verse 7 again. Read verse 7 again. Because the brother has come up here talking about we come up here to disturb the peace. Well, understand this. We come out here to speak the words of God and the power of grace and salvation. How do you get to the word kingdom? How do you get to the kingdom of God? All praises. You are? That's what you desire to be, my brother. But read the Bible. What does the Bible say? Read. Mark chapter 7 and verse 7. How be it? In vain do they worship me. God said what? In vain do they worship me. So the God that you worship, you worship in vain. You say you come up here to talk your own words. Your own words. We come out here in peace. We come out here in peace and love for our people. The people that you're speaking about, we come out for them. But you bring your words. You don't want to hear this Bible. Why do you want us to come up here and talk? You don't want to hear the Bible. If you want to fuck the police, go do it on your block. This is the word of God. God is on this block. Read that again. Mark chapter 7 and verse 7. How be it? In vain do they worship me. The Bible says, in vain, how do you worship him? I worship him every morning. We pray. God hey, put this in me, My nigga. brother, my brother. What's wrong with you? What's your name? I fuck with God because he fuck with me. Hey, what's your I'm name, Mr. bro? I'm Mr. FGP. I'm Mr. Fuck the Police. Okay, Mr. Mr. FGP. What, what is, what is, what is, what is, what is, what is Mr. Fuck the Police. Mr. 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 F the, okay, Mr. F the Police. What is, what is, what is that going to do for our people? And we got each other back. What's, what's going, what's that going to do for our people? What you say? What, what is you saying F the Police going to do for the black and Hispanic community? What are they doing killing the Tatiana Jefferson in motherfucking Fort Worth, Texas? Okay. No, I said what it's gonna do for our for our, for our community. So I'm asking you, what what is what is your mentality or your outlook on life gonna do for our people? The mentality you have, the outlook you have, that's the reason things are they why they are today. Because we transgress the laws of God and we and we go out our own ways. Give me that in judges. Give me Judges, chapter 21 and the last verse, I think 25. You see this shit, bro? So, but, but, understood, that's understood. I understood. Understood. Let me step back. No, ass. No, because you was reaching for our stuff. No, but you come to my community and you yelling. This is not your community. I said, you know why my name is Mr. Fuck the Police? Because I'm a promoter of love and peace in these motherfucking streets. If you're a love, if you're a promoter of love and peace, you want to say fuck anybody. God has wrath, you feel me? We know. And our wrath, and God's wrath is on our people because you don't keep the commandments. God don't talk to you, brother. You don't want to talk to me, brother. The last verse, 25. I'm talking to you, God put this but you ain't talking Bible. We gotta, you gotta talk with the words of God. Genesis. Take it back to Genesis. What, what do you want in Genesis? Take it back to Genesis. Explain to the first verse. Hey, Mister, Mister, 
Mr. Fuck the Police, explain this to me. Read that. Judges chapter 21 and verse 25. In those days, there was no king in Israel. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. That, that's what you that's what you just came up here and professes. You do what's right in your own eyes. You don't keep the commandments of God. You don't do what God told you to do. You got these slaves right here, all this shit. Y'all need to go to the motherfucking place. That's for edification. That's to show that's to show our people the slavery that happened to our people is biblical. We transgress God's laws, therefore we in captivity. See my motherfucking hair, my shit still nappy. You say you a crib. You say you a crib. What does the resolution is in progress? What 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 resolutions? What resolutions has what 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 resolutions have Crips and Bloods? Crips and Bloods. That is division. We're not supposed to be Black Panthers. We got the answers. That's why I'm talking. You ain't got no answers. Crips ain't got no answers. We've been Cripping since the sixties. We've been Cripping since the sixties. I'm not. I'm not a Crip. I'm talking about my people. I'm talking about our people. We've been living those lifestyles since the sixties. What has changed in our community? I wasn't born in the What has changed in our community? I was born in June 15, 1990. Okay. What, what have you changed? What have you changed by being a Crip? We not for the white people. To hell with, to hell with the white man. That's our oppressor. We came to raise up the tribes of Jacob. Give me that in Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 6. We came out here to raise up the tribes of Jacob. We came out here to raise up the children of Israel. We don't give a damn about the white man. We don't give a damn about the Arab man, the Chinese man, none of these nations. We are here, we are here for God's people. We are here for God's people. Nah, y'all gotta join us. We are the leaders. No, that's my community. Any, any, any. You got all these speakers and shit, and you get it. And I'm one man, sir. And I'm a whole. Yeah, you one, one man that don't know what he's talking about. I'm one man that God put this. We we been having brothers. That, we been having brothers step up like you. So what's what's the solution for the what's the solution for our community? What's the solution? What's the solution? Coming out here and you helping the fucking community. Help, 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 help. Help, help. Help, help. Do you know about this community? Help, help. Yes. yes. Brothers, brothers, that's up here in the camp right now. They from these hoods. South Dallas, Pleasant Grove, Oak Cliff. So what are you talking about? So what are you talking about? Trash can right here from my community. If y'all here to help the community. Do our people care about trash cans? It'll be a trash can over there and they gonna throw trash on the ground. And we see it everywhere we go in Dallas, everywhere we go in Fort Worth, everywhere we go in New York, everywhere we go in California. It's the same thing. Our people rebellious as hell. They don't keep God's commandments. No, I'm just talking. You, you, you don't understand order. You just talking. I got a fucking mess. So what are you saying? If you turn down your voice and I'm gonna turn my, can I get the microphone? Go. No, you cannot get the microphone. No, you cannot. Get the I'll, be back Go. I'll be back with my homework phone. Talk. 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 You got me fucked Talk. up. Because I said take it back to Genesis. Talk. Talk. Take it back to Genesis for what? So Genesis wait, is a book with, with 50 chapters in it. What, what do you want out of Genesis? What do you want out of Genesis? So you want us to read the whole book of Genesis. I want you to go to the beginning. So you want us to read the whole book of Genesis. what I'm saying. I didn't say read the whole book of Genesis. Where at in Genesis? Chapters of the motherfucking Bible. I can tell you more than what you're saying. Man, you don't know the Bible, brother. I knew the Bible. You don't know either, nigga. Yeah, we know the Bible. We are the promise of God. That, that's why we're not talking about being Crips. That's why we're not talking about being Bloods. That's why we're not talking about being Crips, Bloods, Black Panthers, none of that. All those movements failed. It said it started with who? Who was created first? Not me. Me was he created first, so what you talking about? He created every motherfucking thing else. Then he created man. Woman wasn't even here. What are you talking about? What does that have to do with anything? It got to do with everything. everything <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? What are you talking about? I'm going to explain it to you. Now listen. Give me it first Timothy Adam. chapter 6. It started with Hold Adam and Eve. Not Adam, Stephen, and Mr. Yeah. around the corner. Now listen. Yeah, facts. It said he cast them to the coffee mouth. I think six and five. Ain't that what y'all heard saying? Y'all heard yelling at my people. Y'all need to go to Plano with that shit and tell them who the fuck they is. We, we, we not here for the white man. The white man know who he is. Hold that. Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. The white man know who he is. The Arab man know who he is. Yes, he do. Yes, he do. The white man wrote a book called The Roman Empire, The Empire of the Edomites. They got another book called The Chosen People from the Caucasus Mountain. They know they Esau Edom. The Negro don't know who he is, though. That's why we out here. Read what you got, Isaiah 1 and 3. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it out. The 
ought know his owner, and that as his master's friend. But Israel does not know. My people does not consider. What's the hypocrisy, brother? I want y'all out here tomorrow. You don't know what hypocrisy is. We got somewhere else to be tomorrow. We got somewhere else to be tomorrow. But God said his people don't know who he is. That's right. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all don't know y'all the children of Israel. Read that one more time. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. The us know his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know. The Israelites don't know their nationality. We didn't come out here to teach the white man. We didn't come out here to teach the other nations. We came out here to teach the people that God said they didn't know their nationality. They don't know that they're the chosen people. People of God. God said they don't consider. Read that one more time. The ox of his owner. What God are you praising? It's not the God of the Bible. You ain't keeping no commandments, brother. Are you keeping the commandments? I know you don't know what I'm talking about because you're not keeping no commandments. Yes, you're in the midst of sin right now today. Let's get that. Numbers 15. First, give me numbers 15. No. That's you. Because you don't keep no commandments. So, so the understanding you have on the outlook of life is your understanding. It's not the understanding of God. Numbers 15 and 38. Read that. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak to who? The children of Israel. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garment. God I told Moses to bid the Israelites, B-I-D means command them to do what? And bid them that they make them fringes in the border of their garment. Where are your fringes, brother? God just said command, read it again. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garment. God said command them to make fringes in the border of their garments. What you talking about? Did I get that tattoo after after or before I knew I couldn't get tattoos? That, that's, that's the same thing. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. They right here on my garment. We all got fringes on. Now where are your fringes? Now where are your fringes? That's a beard. That's not a damn fringe. That's not a fringe. That's a beard. That's a beard. What's that? You got on a piece of fringe. Like, what's so what? What so what? It's the commandments of God. That's so what? That's right. Yeah, listen, listen, okay. listen closely. Listen closely. I got that before I knew I couldn't get tattooed. So did I get another tattoo? No. That's the same process. It's the same process. Okay, it's the same process. Yes. No, I'm not a hypocrite. No, I'm not. Being a hypocrite with me be going to get a tattoo yesterday and coming out here telling you to get a I thought you had everything. Now you want us to give you some. I'll buy the motherfucker. Now you want us to give you some. Yeah, go go on our go on our website. Go on our website. Go on our website. Original royalty. To uh, promote what? A shirt with fringes on there. A shirt with fringes on there. Promote the command. Promote the commandments. That's what you need to promote. Yes, sir. Promote the commandments of God. You know who I am? A vain babbler? No, you a vain babbler. Read that one more time. Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Bring it out unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Throughout their generations, throughout your generations, we generating right now. Mr. Love and Peace. Yo, Mr. FTP. Mr. Fuck the Police. Mr. 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 I'm not keeping the commandments. Keep right. That's your name. I'm not leaving. I'm coming right Mr. back. Mr. You not keeping the commandments. On, okay, go put your boots on. Mr. Mr. You not keeping the commandments. Yeah, got me fucked up. Yeah, all right. You a vain babbler, brother. You just talking. We out here with the word of God. Yeah, we repented. Yeah, I got a tattoo, but I repented from getting tattoos. I'll never get another tattoo. That's a repenting spirit. We out here keeping the commandments. You ain't keeping no commandments. You can't tell us anything. Read that. We are Israel united in Christ. We are not a hate. We are not affiliated with any other Israelite group. Israel united in Christ is a non-violent, Bible-based movement. We do not advocate or condone any acts of violence against any race, ethnicity, or gender. We advise that if anyone hears or knows of any plots to cause harm to anyone or to break the laws of the land, you must contact the proper authorities 
to bring awareness to any possible threat as stated in the big constructive Bible, verse 1. Right. We are here to, we are here to show our people the ways of God. Give me that in Isaiah 49 and 6. We are here to show our people the ways of God. We not a hate group. We don't promote hate. We ain't pushing hate. We pushing God's laws, statutes, and commandments. And the rebellious Negro hate that thing. He can't even be quiet for two seconds to hear it. He's talking about he know the Bible. Bro, you pulling out a damn black and mild to smoke it. You defiling your temple. You hate your damn self. Love yourself first before you try to bring correction to anybody else. You ain't keeping now commandment. We are the teachers that God set up. And we're going to teach the Bible, thus said the Lord God. Anywhere the Lord tell us to go. Because this ain't your community. This God world. And God set the prophets up to run this place. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to raise our people back up, thus said the Lord God. We don't give a damn what a Negro got to say. Isaiah 49 and 6. Read, read 5 and 6. I, Isaiah chapter 49 and verse 5. Bring it out. And now save the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant. He said, and now say it who? And now saith the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant. God formed us from the womb to be the servants of the Most High God. That's our job title. That's our occupation on this earth. And we're going to stand up, thus saith the Lord God. We ain't worried about feeding no rebellious Negroes. You'll get a hot meal once you start keeping God's commandments. Our forefathers knew that. When Tobit had um, abundance of food, he went out, he told his son Tobias, go out and find somebody that's keeping God's commandments that are without, and they come back and eat good. God got Negroes starving because y'all rebellious as hell. Y'all don't want to keep no damn commandments. That's why you're going with them. We ain't gonna fight against the most high and feed somebody that ain't doing what God said do. It's a reason you going with them. Read that again from the top. And now saith the Lord that bore me from the womb to be a servant. Come on. To bring Jacob back, to bring Jacob again to him. Though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, and my God shall be my strength. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldst be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob. He said, it's a light thing. That's why the, the uh, Israelites in purple, Israel united in Christ. We go to camp all over the world every day. 365. We got churches all over the world. This is the greatest movement in the greatest time ever. That's right. We are the forerunners to bring in Christ back to the earth to redeem and restore his people. Bring it out. We ain't worried about passing out no damn peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. That's not our occupation. That's not our job title. We are here to raise up the people of God with the word of God. This is the power on the earth. The word of God. We done tried everything. Crips, Bloods, Black Panthers, Latin Kings, all that madness. Not one time have our people came under the banner of the word of God. God. That's, right. that's what we're not doing. But that's what we're going to restore to our people. Read that one more time. The book of Isaiah, chapter 49, and verse 6. And he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldst be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob. He said, To raise up the tribes of Jacob. That's not no fringe. I just heard you say, That's not no fringes. I tried. You, we, can't, we can't get you right if you won't listen. No, you won't listen. You won't listen. You're not the teacher. You're not the teacher. We're not, we not just here one day a week. You might see us in this spot one day a week. We got all type of community avenues. We got all type of outreaches. We, we, go, out, we go out and post uh, missing person posters all over the city. We're not yelling. You ain't on our side. You will be on our side when you keeping the commandments. No, I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. I'm not a Negro. I'm not a Negro. What does tax? What does paying taxes have to do with nationality? What does paying taxes have to do with the nationality? We are in captivity. We all have to pay taxes. Money is the root of all evil. We, we, we don't have a love of money like that. We don't have a love of money like that. We don't have a love of money like that. The scriptures say money is a defense. Money is a defense. Money is the root of all evil. You don't know what you're talking about. Let's get that in First Timothy 6. Yeah, say it. But you, but you lean on your own understanding because you don't know the scriptures. Let's get that. For the, you got it? Verse 10 feet, chapter. That's the problem with the world. 
First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 10. Bring it up. You can't listen if you're talking. You can't listen if you're talking. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith. So read that again from the top. Now we're going to get a sense to the top. Why does the Bible say the root of the root of money, the love of money is the root of all evil? Come on. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Which was some covenant after they have erred from the faith. Said some covet money, so they err after the faith. You know how you covet money? I see my brother coming out the store. He got nice rims on his car. I seen the wad of money he pulled out of the store. I'm going to rob him. That's a covetous spirit. We're not robbing nobody. We're not robbing nobody. That's what goes on in our community. You ain't see it right now. You just sparked up a black and mild and you smoking it. That is sin. That is sin. Yes. Show me a scripture in the Bible. Show me a scripture in the Bible. Show me a scripture in the Bible where Christ sparked up a black and mild and was puffed puff. The bush was burning. Was, was Moses inhaling the bush? Was Moses inhaling the bush? No, he no, he did not have to be. No, the bush wasn't consuming. The bush was not consumed. What does that mean? I just told you he spoke to a burning bush. Did he smoke the bush? I don't know what he did with the bush. I smoked the bush. Why? Because you ain't see it. You lead to your own understanding. Yes, you, yes. Take your money out your pocket and spread it around. What does that have to do with anything? It got to do with you being a hypocrite. Why you ain't spreading your money then? I did. So now what? So now what? People who said they was going to pay me back, pay me back. And they ain't. And you go, yeah, and they not. You just going to keep what? Wait. The, the Bible calls that foolishness. That's right. Hey, find me that scripture in Sirach that tell you to, uh, to um basically monitor your monitor how you lead to people. Yeah, so it's a Sirach 12. Or are you gonna end up like him, just like he did? Cause you are cause you don't know the scriptures. Cause you don't know the script. We know. And, and, and we and if you don't and if you don't repent and start keeping the commandments, when Christ return, you're gonna be twice dead. That's right. You're gonna be twice dead. Read that one more time. Verse Timothy chapter 6 and verse 10. Come on. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Read. Which was some comes after they have erred from the faith. This Bible. And pierced themselves through with many stars. That's Christianity. That's Christianity. No, this this is the this is the book of life. This is the book of life. Yeah, that's the riches. Yeah. When, when I follow what's written in it, when I follow what's written, no, this heaven gonna be on the earth. Heaven Heaven gonna be on the earth. Heaven gonna be on the earth. Heaven is coming to the earth. Go to that verse. You know it. Where is it at? I don't know where it's at. Tell us where it's at. You tell us. You the Bible scholar? They not. Nah. You feel me? They not. Cause, cause we the army. I, I can, I can find it. I can find it. I just don't got the Bible in my hand. That ain't how we maneuver. You worried about the wrong thing. You gotta keep the commandments. That's you got. That's what you need to worry about keeping the commandments. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 